So there's two things that we got to do before we send that job to print and cut, right? The first thing we have to do is we have to set the blade depth in our cutter holder. The second thing we have to do is set our pressure. Let's review how to put the blade in the blade holder. So this is the new style Mamaki cutter holder, and this is the old style. So for the new style one, you want to completely remove the blade protector. And then we're going to take our blade and insert it into the hole here. And you want to be careful. Don't push the blade in with your finger because you're going to cut yourself to bleed. We want to cut our prints to bleed, but, but not you. The other thing, you want to be very careful of that tip. That's like your print head. That's like your cutter print head. You want to be really careful of that. You never want to push it on anything. And I wish I had a pair of tweezers. I don't. So I'm just going to use this towel to make sure it's in all the way. And you'll feel it kind of click or the magnet grab hold of that blade. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put the blade protector over it. Now, what Mamaki recommends is 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters sticking out. And I really will never get excited about how far that blade sticks out. Here's why. When you're cutting vinyl yourself with a blade, right, with this blade, does it matter how far I protrude this blade? No. Where the action is, is the tool pressure. So if I use light pressure, I'm going to cut through the vinyl and not the release liner. If I use heavy pressure, I'm going to cut through both. But I don't want to use too much pressure because then I'm going to ruin my cutting mat. It's the same with this. So what we want to do is we want to protrude that blade 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters. And what we understand here in the U.S. Imperial, that's 8 mil or 8 thousandths of an inch to 20 mil or 20 thousandths of an inch. And I just do a couple of turns and I'm good to go. We want to protrude the blade about this much. You can see from the micrometer, 0.5 millimeters just isn't a lot. The old style blade, the way we do the old style blade is a little bit different. We want to remove the cutter protector and then we're going to toss that blade in the same way. We're going to be very careful. Don't cut yourself to bleed. And that's in there. Then we're going to use the cutter protector and screw this on all the way this time. This works a little bit differently. Now this thumb screw on the end, this screw, this controls how much the blade is out. So with no blade showing, we want to make sure that absolutely no blade is showing. And then when you turn this, one full revolution clockwise, that's 0.5 millimeters. So I'm just going to turn it about three quarters or a little bit beyond three quarters, and that protrudes the blade 0.5 millimeters. You're good to go. That's it. The thing that I see some folks doing, some sign shop guys doing, is to set the cutter blade, they try to cut through the vinyl and adjust the blade accordingly. Do not ever do this. When you exert pressure this way, you're at risk of breaking the tip of that blade. All right, great. So let's jump over to the UCJV 330 and let's, let's put it in the printer. Okay, so let's put it in there properly, get my fat fingers out of the way. So see how that drops all the way in? And then the clamp rides on top of this plastic ring. That's key crucial. Let's go through some settings that will affect cutting. So the first thing is, let's set up our pinch rollers. So if you press select to scroll through the menu, you'll find this pinch roller. And I generally set them all to low. So during printing low, cut the ends low. During cutting, 
the inner ones I put on low and pull back I put the ends on low. Now if you have a very thick material or a slippery material, you might want to change this to medium or high. Low all the way through generally works for me. You can pick your inner ones up during cutting to avoid any marks that you might get, but I find that this will cause missed tracks. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our vacuum because if you have thin material, a stronger vacuum will cause the material to bunch up. So we press select until we come to menu. We'll select menu and media setting and we'll scroll down to detailed setting and press enter. And our vacuum is on standard, but you can change this to strong, host, or weak. So for thinner material, I usually use weak. Um, the material that we have now is just a standard vinyl, so I'm gonna use standard. Continuous running on or off. So if you're having problems cutting 30 inch material or, or narrower width materials, this is because the vacuum holes are not blocked. So if you take painter's tape and you cover those vacuum holes, this will make the vacuum under your not as wide material stronger. And this will yield better results in cutting. So let's set the cut pressure. So we're gonna press select until we come to tool. And remember how we set up the different cuts? We're gonna say cut one and our speed is 30 centimeters a second. That's the max with this printer cutter. And this is a standard vinyl, so I'm gonna try it at 55 grams of force. And Mamaki does provide different blades, so you're gonna set the offset that corresponds with your blade here. So to change the setting, you push enter and it will be highlighted in yellow. And then you use the up down arrows until you come to your settings and press enter to effect the change. Now end will take us out of this menu. So let's go ahead and let's do a test cut. The first setting we're doing is a kiss cut. So we want to cut through the vinyl and not the release liner. So we want a small score in the vinyl. So trying to pull that out with the blade, it's a little bit tough on the corner. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of pressure here. But you can see how we slightly scored that, that, re that release liner. You can see the marks in here. Just slightly scored that release liner here and here. So maybe I'll just do a little added pressure. Now a big difference here is going to be, um, are, are you cutting through just vinyl or printed vinyl? And are you doing a perf cut? So what we want to do is just add a little pressure. So we push end and it feeds the media back. And then we're going to select tool and change this to say 60 and select enter. And let's just do another test cut. So that's perfect. 60 grams just through vinyl and no ink. So the next one let's do is let's set up to do our perf cut. So we're gonna select tool and select enter and go to cut two and select enter. So this first pressure is cutting through the release liner and the vinyl. So through the vinyl and the release liner. So that's the pressure there. That seems very high to me. So I'm gonna go way down to let's say 110. I rather start low and go high 
And then we're going to scroll to half cut. Half cut in Mamaki means perf cut. So you're going to want to make sure you turn half cut on. And then you see you get this. Now our half cut pressure means it's cutting half through. So we're cutting just through the vinyl. So I'm going to set this to where we set our cut one, which is 60 grams. And this H length. So this is the actual perforation length. Okay, just cutting through the vinyl, which is this setting, and not the release liner. The C length is cutting through the vinyl and the release liner. And I can tell you, we will do a test cut here, but you want to test cut one image. Okay, before you send the whole job and ruin a whole job and make a mess out of your, out of your, out of your cutter and get a cutter jam, you're going to send one. This will save you loads and loads of time. And from my experience, I'm going to set this half cut length to 1.2 and the C length to 17. Now we're going to do a test cut here. And what we're looking for is that it cuts through the release liner and the vinyl. So we, we were not successful. So we do have to add some weight there. So what we're looking to do is cut through the release liner and the vinyl. So we're going to select end. We weren't even close. So I'm going to add a lot of weight here. Tool. Remember, this first setting is your release liner and your vinyl. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep. So that did. So this is our C length and that's our um, H length right here. The other thing that you can do, remember, we're going to cut to bleed. So what I've done up here is I've done a print of just ink and on the other side is a print of uh, color and clear matte. So why don't we do a, a cut setting like we're going to um, be cutting to bleed and we're going to set that to cut three. So I'm going to move the material forward. And did you ever wonder where it would start printing when you push enter on origin? So it will start printing on the cut line. So I'm going to set this portion right on the cut line to, so I, I'm ensure that I'm going to hit that ink. And I'm going to move over a little bit. And this is just setting our origin for our test cut. And select Enter. Okay, now we're going to select Tool and we're going to set this to cut three. We're going to turn the half cut off because all we want to do here is we want to kiss cut through ink. We want to cut to bleed. And I set my speed to 30 centimeters. And we know, right, we know that 60 grams will cut through just the vinyl. So maybe the vinyl and ink would be 80 grams. So let's select enter and push end and test cut. And here less is more. We just want to have enough pressure to make the cut, and that is it. We don't want to ruin our cutting strip. So that, that weight is perfect. It slightly scores the release liner, and I was able to pull it out. So that's our cut setting three. So we're going to select end. Let's try cutting through color and clear matte. So we're going to change our origin point. And then select enter. And then we're going to select tool. 
and cut four. Enter. Speed, bump it up to 30 centimeters. So eight, I, 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 I'm thinking that 85 grams is gonna do it. And to take you out of this menu. And then test cut and enter. And you can see it's gonna do the test cut from our origin point. And then it's gonna feed forward so we can view feed. That's the setting you can do, it's called view feed. And let's see how we did. So that's perfect, it cut through our color and clear mat. Now after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to reset the material. So to do that, I'm just gonna raise the arm and lower it. So that's it, you got the proper weights set up, pressure settings on your UCJV 330. But what I'm gonna do, if you're doing a perf cut, I would absolutely positively test one or two images in advance of doing your whole job. You cannot really tell how the perf cut is gonna perform by that little test cut image. It really depends on the size of your graphic. So this graphic that we're gonna kiss cut and perf cut is 6.2 inches wide by 8.2 inches high. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna send a test cut job. So remember, things to remember here is your crop mark size type one, we're gonna set the layout to whole, intermediate register marks. We went to our cut edit tab and we identified where these cut contours are gonna go. Kiss cup is going to go to one, contour two is going to go to cut two, perf three is going to go to cut two as well. So once you have this set up to do your test cut job, select go, and then make sure print and cut is selected, and then press start. Now on the perf cut, you're going to want to change that H length or the C length, so you want the graphic to stay in while you're cutting and pop out easily. So that was great, the, the graphic held in. Let's go ahead and let's, let's check out how easily it pops out. Let's check that H lines. Oh. That's perfect. That graphic popped right out and you can see the H lines tabs here. Okay, let's go ahead and let's check our kiss cut. So you can see that perf cut popped right out. Oh, so see what happened here? We cut through the release liner. So for that, for the kiss cut, we're gonna wanna back off on that a little bit because we don't wanna cut through the release liner, we just wanna cut the vinyl and not the release liner. That will cause problems later on, but I'd say we're pretty good. And, and the cut is very accurate. That was step two in printing and cutting for success. The next video you're gonna to wanna to watch is step three, set up your job in Rasterlink. It's on YouTube at PG Sign Video.